Zone Rogues Gallery and welcome to another MetaZoo video here on Red Zone Rogue. Today we are talking about MetaZoo and how it is more than just money. How it's more than just free attendees and big eBay numbers because, you know, I, I see a lot of this right now, right? You see a lot of people just treating MetaZoo as not only an investment, but a quick buck. And there is so much more to this game, so much more to this game than just free money, free attendees, diamond hands, rocket to the moon. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on here and I think it's worth talking about. And I think it's worth highlighting because I think this game is doing something very special. I think this game is very cool. And I think this game does have legs. It is not just a flash in the pan or a fad. You know, even if the hype dies down, I think there will always be a market for MetaZoo. So let's talk about that in today's video. So it is currently no secret right now, as of this filming, that MetaZoo is doing quite well. It's not an insanely popular game, but the people who know about it are specking hard on it, and a lot of the cards are worth a lot of money, especially the sealed product that is currently available. At the time of this filming, first edition has not even come out yet, so we have a lot of like Kickstarter product that is being um, highly inflated on eBay. And not just that, not just that. And this is one of the things that really caught my eye. Some people are already flipping their first edition pre-orders, which is actually insane. I see a bunch of eBay listings for around $300. Of people are just like, oh, confirmed first edition pre-order, which is absurd. That means these people are buying these with the sole intent of earning a quick buck. Um, despite the company saying that they will have more first edition for sale on the official website for 90 bucks, 89.99. And let me repeat that. The official MetaZoo website will have first edition booster boxes for sale once again for $89.99. It is not completely sold out. So like, it's, it's not baffling to me, but I think it says a lot to some people's mentalities where they're just like, oh, I see this as a quick buck. I don't believe in this card game. I just want to earn as much money as I can as fast as I can. And, you know, I can kind of see that, you know, I can see the, the motivation behind that, but I think it's very short sighted because I think this game is excellent. And um, like I said, I think it has legs to stand on. And let's start talking about that. You know, let's start talking about that. So the big draw for MetaZoo is that it is cryptid themed, right? So cryptids are something that exist everywhere in the world, basically. You know, maybe they don't call them cryptids where you're from, but they basically exist everywhere. We're talking about Bigfoot, Mothman, um, Loch Ness Monster, um, the, the Bhutan Yeti, like all of this kind of stuff. Uh, aliens, ghosts, like you can go really deep into this. And it's something that is highly recognizable to everyone while also being kind of like whimsical and fun. And you know, the, the MetaZoo community has already like latched onto this, like the true MetaZoo community has already latched onto this. And the cryptid community is actually a very, very massive and passionate community. There are communities for every one of these cryptids, you know, Mothman, Bigfoot, those are kind of like some of the really big ones, Chupacabra, all of this stuff, Wendigo. And these communities are really passionate about their cryptids, but there's also like a big bigger cryptid community at large that just really love, you know, cryptids, studying cryptids, um, you know, and I think it's kind of an untapped market, especially in regards to games, specifically card games here. And uh, MetaZoo is filling a niche that currently is unfilled in more than that regard. So, you know, it's filling the niche in terms of just cryptids, right? But it's also filling the niche in terms of um, just like really fun kind of like goofy gameplay with their fourth wall mechanics. And so the fourth wall mechanics are mechanics like um, when you play the Jersey Devil, for example, you uh, can do like a, a blood curdling scream or take damage, right? And so it's kind of like these fun um, board gamey mechanics that I know a lot of people who are playing like highly competitive card games like Flesh and Blood and Magic the Gathering, maybe a little bit turned off on, but people who are really into board games, like really fun board games, or like the Magic the Gathering unsets, 
love this stuff. They absolutely love this stuff. Personally, I love this stuff. I mean, I'm really into competitive card games, but I also like just some really fun, goofy stuff. And I think MetaZoo is doing a lot of cool stuff in that regard. The Magic the Gathering unsets, I think are the best comparison I can make with them. But those sets are very few and far between. They only release them every like, several years and once again that is a very untapped market the people who love the unsets absolutely love the unsets they are die hard fans and the last facet and probably the most obvious one about metazoo that i want to talk about is the nostalgia factor right so metazoo is done in a similar style to old school watercolor pokemon art and it's super recognizable you see it and it just brings back nostalgia and um that is also a currently untapped market unless you have a ton of money and you have a ton of vintage Pokemon cards, and let's be honest, not a lot of people have that. There are so many people who just love vintage Pokemon cards, and they love the feel of vintage Pokemon cards and the look of it, and I think that is something that MetaZoo is, is really kind of like going towards. You know, on top of the cryptid stuff and on top of like the cool gameplay mechanics, um, they're really going for like this very nostalgic, um, very kind of like whimsical feel, and um, I think it resonates with a lot of people, and, and you know, all of these layers, you know, the cryptids, the gameplay, and the nostalgia, they're great by themselves, but together they really coincide to form something truly special and truly unique. And you know, that's something that I saw in MetaZoo after I started to dive into it, and it is why I really like the game, and I don't even have any cards, right, you know? So this isn't a video of me like trying to pump up the cards and trying to make my collection worth more. I don't actually own any MetaZoo cards right now. I will be going pretty deep into MetaZoo with the first edition. I might be getting some um, Kickstarter product in the future and to open up on the channel. I think that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be really really fun and really really sweet. But um, I'm not here just trying to pump up the cards because I believe in this game. I think this game is here to stay. It is not a fad. It is not only about the money though. You know, if you're gonna invest in MetaZoo, I think that's cool, you know? I probably will keep some boxes sealed for my personal collection, not with the intent to flip and sell, but just to have something nice that I really like in the background. And you can see, I have all of these things that I really like, you know, in the background, and I would love MetaZoo to be a part of my collection. Not only that, I think MetaZoo is deserving to be a part of my collection and to stand tall with the likes of Flesh and Blood, Magic, and Pokemon. The video is almost over, but I would like to take some time to shout out the MetaZoo community. I'm still pretty new in the community, but the community seems fantastic. A very positive and welcoming community, and that's something that I value greatly. I value greatly. You know, coming from Magic, many, many years of Magic, Magic has a very very negative community. Um, Flesh and Blood has a fantastic community. Uh, Force of Will actually has a very good community and I love that MetaZoo has a very good and positive community already. So shout out to the fans of MetaZoo, you know, on their Facebook page and on the Discord, you know, a bunch of great folks. I mentioned MetaZoo in my last video and a lot of people reached out to me and they're like, hey, um, I can help you with MetaZoo. I can tell you more about the game. I could send you a box if you want to open it up, especially the creators of MetaZoo. And that's something that I haven't talked about either. So the creators of MetaZoo, I've, I personally talked to Mike Waddell, the creator of the game, and he seems like a very, very cool, down to earth and nice dude. And once again, that, that's something that gives me a lot of confidence in the game. They, they want their game to succeed and they want the game to be accessible and affordable to everyone. And that's kind of like one of their core tenants. You know, they want the game to be available to everyone. And you know, that, that kind of harkens back to the nostalgic factor, um, you know, with the original Pokemon cards um, being very, very hard to get and very, very expensive. The fact that they want this game to be as available as possible to everyone is just um, a very encouraging and a very, very like, good sign that the company has it out for their fans. You know, they have their heart in the right place and that heart is for their fans. So to all the naysayers out there, I think MetaZoo is a, is a really sweet game. Um, it's definitely got legs and I think it has the ability to fulfill a niche that is currently unfilled in the market. You know, maybe the game takes off and becomes, you know, one of the next big games, you know, standing up there with Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and Flesh and Blood. And, and, you know, maybe it just becomes a very, you know, niche thing. But even if it does, 
I think the people who love this game will truly love this game. And there, there are certain like communities and certain niches that are, are absolutely just gonna, you know, fall in love with MetaZoo. And for me, it's giving me like this nostalgic feeling back when I first played Pokemon as a kid. Um, kind of almost the same feeling when I first started playing Flesh and Blood, you know, in relation to Magic. And so um, I'm really excited about MetaZoo. I'm really, really excited to get my hands on some product and to start my collection and to feature it more more on the channel because um, I mentioned it a little bit in the previous MetaZoo video, but MetaZoo is something that um, I'm, I'm basically adopting as a strong second to Flesh and Blood here on Red Zone Rogue. It's, um, I, I see it and I, I think it's awesome and um, I'm that confident in it and passionate about it that I think I'm gonna go more or less all in. This is still gonna be like a Flesh and Blood channel for the most part, but um, I think MetaZoo can be a strong second here. So don't be surprised if you see like top 10 MetaZoo videos or box openings and discussions about MetaZoo, you know, going forward because I think that's where we're going. I think that's where we're going. Um, and I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about it. So if you like the video, please leave a like comment, subscribe, let me know uh, your thoughts on MetaZoo in the comments down below. And definitely stay tuned for more MetaZoo content here on Red Zone Rogue. Have a good one all, and I'll see you later.